Welcome back to The Smugsy Show. I'm Smugsy, your host, identifying as the Barstool Cougar. Every Wednesday, we meet here to talk about important things and important people. Today, it's St. Patrick. What a guy. He's been dead for over 1,600 years and remains relevant. That's not easy to do in the time of TikTok. St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland, brought Christianity to the Emerald Isle and a drinking holiday to the United States. Say what you want about the patriarchy. One thing I like, the glass is always half full of alcohol, of course. And St. Patrick, forget about Bibles, snakes. His biggest achievement was getting a day off the wagon during Lent on March 17th, the day he died. Thanks to St. Patrick, the gospel pretty much insists that Christians get hammered. So no wonder he's a saint. No wonder um, we celebrate St. Patrick's Day every year on the Smugsy Show. Join us in reciting our favorite Irish blessing. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind always be at your back. May the sun shine warm on your face and the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hands. Happy St. Patrick's Day from me to you. Speaking of wind at our back, be sure to check out Smugsy Studio on the new website, syndicatemedia.net. That's syndicate with a C, media.net, where you'll find all your favorite show content um, and links to social media. The Smugsy brand was purchased by Syndicate for an undisclosed sum, and we are full steam ahead, full steam ahead. We've got FOMO. And it's getting a little steamy over at OnlyFans. The premiere exhibit will launch April 1st. Go right now. Don't don't wait. The first 100 people will get a 50% off promotional discount until April 15th. I think you're going to like this exhibit. I hope you like this exhibit. A lot of thought has gone into it. Um, you can find me on OnlyFans at Smugsy Girl. The main topic of today's show is bodily fluid and what's dividing America. But first, a leading women's group just issued a strong statement regarding the explosive allegations made against Barstool Sports President Dave Portnoy by Canadian sports broadcaster Gordo Miller that I'd like to share with you since it's been all over the news. For immediate release, The Cougars, a popular Barstool fan club for women who like dogs, have this to say, not so fast, Gordo. Cougars are not damsels in distress. We are not tied to railroad tracks in need of rescue. And Gordo, you are no Dudley Do-Right. You admit knowing Dave would aggressively retaliate against anyone who disagrees with him online. And so you tweet, My problem with Barstool is the history of unapologetic misogyny, racism, xenophobia, and the repeated condoning of unconsensual sex. Talk about a thirst trap for the culture warriors, Gordo. You knew exactly what you were doing. You claim that Dave unleashes Vindog on Barstool enemies with an order to meme them to death, and the Krugers say, Can you blame him? It's a dog-eat-dog world, Gordo, and we're dog people, and we've got a dog in this fight, and our money's on Dave. You tweeted to your 240,000 followers, Gordo, that you didn't want to associate with Barstool Sports, and then you dropped a bomb, and then you turned off your phone and had your assistants collect all the people who agreed with you, stuck in the traffic jam online that you caused. What fun is that? Dave Portnoy is not snidely whiplash. He makes us laugh and doubles our money. It's that simple. Therefore, the cougars stand firmly behind him at this time. Okay. Strong words from the cougars. Um, Now for an update on the Kirk Minahan show. Um, We've had a lot of calls this week into the Survivor Network. People, Minifans, distressed over the show being off for the week and the poll question regarding Z who shall not be named 
We put a poll last week um, about the Kirk Minahan show and cancel culture, and it said this. It's cancel culture conundrum for the Kirk Minahan show. Should Martin be allowed in the KMS Survivor Network? Well, the results are not looking good for Martin. Uh, 94.1% of respondents said, fuck no. So, sorry, Martin. Democracy sucks sometimes. Maybe maybe you can troll Gordo. Uh, other Barstool news, the Token CEO podcast Facebook group page is hosting what looks like a very fun happy hour tomorrow night with Erica Nardini, CEO of Barstool. Should be very fun. Everyone's invited except me. Um, I'm um, still in the penalty box until April 1st and um, expelled. You know, I can't comment on the page. Um, but a happy hour with Erica Nardini sounds like a lot of fun. Her interview with Alan Gold this week was amazing. It was amazing. If you're planning to go to the happy hour, I'm really happy for you and not jealous at all. Um, it, you know, it's just going to give me time to think about my comeback. I mean, on April 1st, my plot, my return. I mean, what, what would you do? I get kicked off the page for posting content. I posted a link to this show. And if you, if you go to the token CEO podcast, Facebook group page, now you'll see content all over the place. Oh, four guys post a YouTube show talking about Philly sports. Neat. Or this is my photography shop. And aren't these adorable pictures of these little girls and little tutus and karate outfits and sparkles? Look at my content. So, um, and I'm the one silenced for posting content. Why? So what should I say on April 1st? I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't understand droll. I'm sorry my show that talks about, you know, important things, important people is just too sharp. So I'd love to know what you think. If you could please participate in this week's poll question on Twitter or leave a comment here on the YouTube channel. This is the question this week. When commenting privileges get restored on the Token CEO podcast Facebook group page, Smugsy should A, apologize, B, post her content like everyone else, C, say, fuck off, spineless babies, or D, other. Um, again, leave a comment on the YouTube channel or vote on Twitter at Smugsy Girl. Um, finally, a word about what's dividing us um, and what you can do about it. It's not partisan politics. It's not who's wearing a mask, who's not wearing a mask. It's, um, it's sputum, and that's what that's what we're going to talk about right now. People who spit on the sidewalk. I'm going to read this because it, I'm just really passionate about it. People who spit on the sidewalk or in the street, and especially people who blow their nose on the sidewalk or in the street, are apparently oblivious to how disgusting they are and how the rest of us feel about it. And they don't care. Maybe it's just me, but isn't it mostly white guys and cat people who do this? Cat people are cough culprits like their pets. Dog people have issues too, let's admit it. There, there are issues. The people who pick up dog poop in plastic bags and leave it on the side of the road to pick up and then don't, that should be a crime, okay? But I would take dog poop in a bag over sputum on the sidewalk any day. These people, these spitters and honkers on their bikes or out running or skiing, they cough up big loogies like hairballs and spew their disgusting spewge all over the place for the rest of us to slip on and see. And in a pandemic, seriously? Gooey yellow snot everywhere? What are they thinking? And here's, here's the thing. Here's the pro tip. Here's what the show is about, the message the theme it's simple keep your phlegm to yourself just keep your phlegm to yourself that's all yeah the world would be a better place if we all just keep our phlegm to ourselves and and with that this is smug signing off it's been a great show the show has been brought to you by smug siggies sleek and elegant siggies made from organic cannabis rolled in locally sourced sheaves of natural paper. Look for Smug Siggies in the Indigo and Marigold packs. 
Follow me on Twitter at Smugsy Girl. Leave a comment. Subscribe to the show. Hey, I'm in the clubhouse. And until next week, take care.